Right, I'm doing it like this. I'm doing it like this. Zoomed in, up on personal. Oh my God. <sighs> I've just got to treat it like a TikTok. I don't know why I get so like, about filming myself on my normal camera. Anyways, hello. Ooh, all Paul's Outdoors is upgrading. They're going from TikTok to YouTube. I think it's a big jump personally. Anyways, it is my first day back today after how long off three weeks four weeks um what is the time oh hang on sorry everyone time right now don't have my watch on me let's switch the van on so we can see it's five to nine so normally my days they kind of vary so i can't look at the camera i don't know why <laughs> um my days vary so sometimes i'll be starting at eight um, and I'll do my first pickup at eight. Sometimes on a quieter day, like today, I will start my first pickups between nine and 10 and then do the walk 10 to 11 and then blah, blah, blah. But honestly, my days change every single day and by the hour as well, because it depends how the dogs are, how muddy they get, um, everything like that. So job number one is to go start my first pickup, which is waffle. So, I bring with me a big two litre, um, this has got two barocas in it, um, just to keep me going. I try and, oh, I spill that, oh no, I try and drink majority of it, but I get worried because I always need a wee. Um, yeah, keep that down there, and then I just have snacks with me today, just fruit. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but... <laughs> Um, I just have that with me to keep me going because I will come back home for lunch Because um, I actually literally have like a half day today, which is really good considering I haven't worked for like three weeks um, <clears throat> I had a cancellation last night. Yeah last night um, for a lady who is not feeling well Anyways, so I've got actually a quiet day. I've literally got a group walk and then two individuals <gasps> My job's so good. Um, the group walk is a four man Yeah, I've been talking for ages now, so Let's go do my first pickup. I've just done my first pickup. Um, Mr. Woff is in the back. Um, Waffle, what's this? There he is. Um, and he was got in straight away. Like he was like, "Yep, I know the drill. Here we are." And he got in. Bless him. Right, next one. Hello, everyone. I've just picked Barney up. Little bee. She's got a unicorn with us today, haven't you, Barnes? Right, let's go. It has been an absolute mad rush um, because there was traffic and I was worried about waffles staying in the van for too long. <laughs> anyway, so I've picked Bonnie up. Bonnie does sit in the front on her little pillow because she's a little old lady and she doesn't like the back. Um, obviously, I picked up Barney, Waffle and my newbie, Woods. Woody. Um, so obviously, he's on the lead today. This whole process of getting out the van and onto the walk is kind of my craziest time because the dogs just go mental and there's a road so I have to really concentrate. I get myself ready first. Um, I put my coat on, put my treats in my pocket, poo bags, blah, blah, blah. Then I get all the dogs out one by one. Um, I'll try and prop my phone up and film it. Um, but I can guarantee you it will be mayhem. But I'll try. So, I need... So this is where it's crazy because I've got leads and just craziness. So I am on the walk now. Um, at the beginning of the walk, I just put a hour timer on, um, so I know how far, um, like how long I've got left. Um, so today we're up uh, the plains, which is really nice. 
um, this is a nice group walk to start with after having three weeks off, so I've only got four of them. Bonnie always, always just trots behind me. And then I've got my newbie Woody. Um, he's on the belt because um, obviously we've not walked together yet. So he's getting used to me. Obviously he's with new dogs as well. So um, it's a lot for him. So he stays on the lead just so he can contain himself and we can make things nice and chill. But obviously I've got my normal Waffle and Barney who I have multiple times a week. Um, I come up here because there's not normally um, many people and I like the dogs to not be bothered by anything. So yeah, it is freezing though. What the hell has happened on my week off? It's just been, I don't know, gone from like autumn to like deep winter. I don't know what's happening, but yeah, I also need a wee. So I might have to find a bush. We're about halfway through the walk. I've just done a little food search for them. Um, so I did basically just throw treats everywhere and they just look for them. Basically, Bonnie's not that interested. And look at this view. Incredible. Um, no. So just there, Woody was trying to um, just get rid of his, trying to rub, like rub his face. Um, oh my God, trying to rub his whole seat. So I just say no. And then he does eventually realise that, oh no, I'm not allowed to do that. Um, yeah, he's been very, very good um, on the belt as well. Yeah, this is a good first walk so far. So we are about 40 minutes in. Um, we've just got to the road. This is not a public road, just so you know. So the dogs are allowed to be off lead. Um, people just run on here and stuff. Um, but yeah, everyone's doing really good. I um I put them all on the lead about five minutes ago, but there was no way in hell I was getting my phone out <laughs> because I just did not have any hands. Um, so yeah. Mm. Normally, um, with a newbie, um, obviously they stay on the lead like this. Um, I get them to engage with me a little bit. I have to disclaim that I'm not a dog trainer. Um, I just like to not let them be absolutely mental. So I'll do things like this. Woody, sit. Yes. Would he sit? Yes. Okay. So I just look for that engagement so they're not just thinking 100 miles ahead and going crazy. So I just get a little bit of eye contact, let them sit. Would he sit? Yes. Okay. Ah, so good. So I turn my back for two seconds, give little Bonnie a treat. And Waffle, Waffle, what's this? He has rolled. You can't even see it. Come here. Oh, I can't even touch you. Look. Oh my God. Oh, just got back. Woody's obviously in. Bonnie, Barney's in. You're having a wash with some water. Bonnie's also in the front. I'm just going to fill up some water bowls um, so they can all have a drink. Eh? Bit there for you good boy there you go and i'll just leave that in there for a couple of minutes while i sort him out and give him a drink same with barney and then they can chillax hey so these guys are all sorted they've all had water i tried to wash him a bit to be fair quite a lot of it's come out um they've all had a treat and now they'll just chill <clears throat> while i'm driving around sorry there's a car while i'm driving around and do all the drop-offs um i'm just gonna give bonnie some water and then Drop off time, kiddos. Bit muddy. Okay, so what I'll do when I get in the car is kind of do everything in reverse. So they're all sorted and I'll take my coat off, let it somewhat dry before the next. Excuse me. Somewhat dry before the next walk. Um, I'll have something to eat. When I say I'll have something to eat, I'll peel this really quickly and eat it in about three seconds and then I'll be on my way to drop everyone off. Um, yeah, first walk done, isn't it, Bonds? Okay, I have just got to my next client. I feel like I'm always just doing my hair. My hair just gets absolutely, like, look at it, mental. Anyways, um, just got to my next client. These guys, it's a husky and I don't actually know the breed of the other dog. I should, I should do, shouldn't I? That's not very good of me. Um, but they have a half an hour walk each individually um, because Red is quite reactive. Um, so, yeah, I've just got here now. So I'll be here for an hour. 
I don't know why I did my hair this way, but yeah. Right. I'm here. I need a drink though. Bloody hell. I am not used to this exercise. Oh, I love it when my drink literally goes everywhere. Oh my god. That's amazing. And then after this, I'm actually done. Like, this is what I mean with um, having a quiet day. I literally have two more individuals, which are half an hour each. Easy. Then I'm moving into my new place. So it's moving day, um, which is exciting. Um, anyways, right, I need to actually go inside, get the dogs. Yeah. I'm now with Bear. Um, so he's got half an hour. Um, he's very good. He doesn't come off the lead, though, because um, he just goes runaways. Hey, you wanderer? He's gorgeous though. Bear. Oh, oh. Guys, I'm gonna pop you there and just show you how gorgeous Bear is, okay? Can you see it? Oh, he's like a wolf. Oh, that's a pretty boy. <gasps> Look at you, huh? Can you see it? Oh. Good boy! You're the best man, aren't you? He's like, come on, let's go. Right, let me grab my phone. Anyways, look at him. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I actually don't know if I have any treats left. We are now on to Red. So this is little Red who gets very anxious around other dogs apart from um, Bear. Um, yeah we just take her by herself we so her owner actually wanted them to split up so she could be a bit more independent on her walks and um i basically have a method of if i saw another dog basically coming up the road i would get her to look at me straight away with a treat get her to sit and she doesn't react at all um and eventually it's become a habit that if a dog comes past she looks at me straight away rather than reacting to the dog her attention comes to me for food because she's very um food orientated um, so yeah, half an hour for this little girl, um, yeah.